Some people still have blue tarps on their roofs, but they're breathing a little bit easier tonight, knowing that Hurricane Dorian is moving farther away, but that doesn't mean that they're not scared. Just around where the drain is, there's uh, the shingles got ripped up a little bit and had water seepage. Terry Scheiman has had a damaged roof since Hurricane Charlie in 2004. Well, when the eye came over, we had the winds go in one direction. And then after the eye came through, everybody came outside because it was so calm. But tree limbs were down. Terry says they're always an issue in this neighborhood. With each hurricane, his roof gets worse. It only takes like one rip and then the wind gets under it and lifts it right on up. This time Terry got ready for Dorian like he does for each hurricane, but he says he didn't know what to expect. I thought this one, the one might do a little bit more damage. It wasn't looking good. Josh Goodman and his family live down the street. They're used to seeing roofs dressed in this bright blue. I seen this one was tarped. Um, mine should have been tarped, but they took care of my roof and stuff beforehand. But there was a lot of tarps. I can't, during the storm, I stood right up front of it and uh, seen a tornado go right down Highway 60. Serious hurricanes have ravaged through Bartow before. That's why neighbors wouldn't be surprised if Dorian took a nasty turn. People freak out pretty bad. You know, I mean, it's as simple as that. But uh, you live in Florida. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, you got to be prepared for that year round anyway. Uh, I'm pretty glad, actually. So uh, that means I won't have to do a bunch of stuff that I didn't want to do. And now, emergency managers here in Polk County will not be opening the shelters that they plan on opening tomorrow. That's a part of them scaling back their hurricane plan. They will, however, still be watching for heavy amounts of rain. Any couple of inches that they might get here could cause some major flooding in the county.